You ready? We ready? I'm ready. Come on. It's G to the L to the O. Blow. X Men will gospel. It's G to the L to the O. Blow. You're listening to the real gospel with the X Men. Turn it up loud. You about to get a blessing. We got them tunes that'll make you dance like David. Rocking in your car, in your house, in the workplace. X Men bringing you the real, not the fake. Strike a chord in your soul as these sounds resonate. And plug your ears, cause you don't wanna miss the X Men real gospel. Bringing you the real. Welcome back to the second hour of Real Gospel. My name is The X-Man, your radio minister of music. He has one of the most dynamic and prolific voices in gospel music. His name is Dwayne Woods. Here he is. Never be the same. I had broken dreams. I was so full of pain. But then you came. And now I'll never never be the same again I had tried it all mm, And I wanted to change And right then you came And now I'll never be the same again I will never be the same I will never be the same Oh, I will never be the same Ooh, and it's all because you came Oh, oh, oh. back up against the wall And with nowhere to run and you sent your son And now I'll never, never be the same again I just threw up my hands Oh, and said, Lord, here I am Oh, and you are right there And now I'll never, never be the same again No, I'll never be I will never, no, I'll never be the same again, never, ooh, I will never, oh, I will never, no, I will never be the same. I will never, 
I will never be the same. Real Gospel is the place where God gets the glory and artists tell their stories. And before I even get started, let me get up and get my praise dance on right now. I've got Dwayne Woods on Real Gospel. God is, God is, God is. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that, man. I had to do that. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how long I've been trying to get with you, man. Oh, wow. Well, I'm glad we were able to make it happen. Yeah. See, listen, remember, okay, you probably don't remember this, but uh, at the Stellar Awards, uh, we were backstage at the Gospel Announcers Award, and I walked up to you and I said, Dwayne Woods, I've been trying to get an interview with you ever since God is. And you gave me this crazy look like, what? I'm right with what, 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 what you said. And then you said to me, you said, well, okay, well, make sure, you know, uh, I think you had a manager or somebody that you said, make sure you see so-and-so and so-and-so before, you know, before we leave. And then you disappeared and he disappeared too. So oh, I still no, I, I said, I had to see. <laughs> well, I, I didn't see you no more. You were gone. Oh wow! So yeah, but but I've got you now, and so for those of you now. all, I probably looked at you crazy because I was like, God, yeah, that's yeah, a long time ago. It's a long time ago, <laughs> man. But that was my that was my jam right there. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, that's yes, good. yes, yes. But for those who don't know a little bit about Dwayne Woods, I'm I'm honored to really have you on Real Gospel, man. Um, you are the you you are the former New Artist of the Year, Male Vocalist of the Year, Urban Inspired Single Performance of the Year, Recorded Music Package of the Year. A Stella, Stella Award winner. Uh, just the list goes on and on and on and on. Your, your, your songs have hit the Billboard charts and have gone as, as high as number four. I mean, you have just, you've done it in gospel music, man. I just, welcome to Real uh, Gospel. Thank you so much. You know, it's, it's really an honor <laughs> to actually be on here with you as well. It's, it's, yeah. it's great to do what it is that I do. I'm, I'm happy that music uh, definitely resonates with the audience and people really enjoy what it is that I have to say. And uh, and they're supporting. I, I just think that it's absolutely incredible. It's, a, it's definitely a dream come true. Hey, Amen. Now I'm currently playing the song "Never Be the Same," and this song is. I, yeah. I love this song. I, I, I really do. And so, uh, talk to us about this new CD project and "Never Be the Same" and what's going on with Dwayne Woods. Wow. Well, well, "Never Be the Same," like you said, it, it is the new single, and of course, I couldn't do another record without working with DJ Boy again, who is the writer of. Let go as well. That's so, right. Uh, he wrote "Never Be the Same," and it, it has really become such a special song to me because uh, we go through situations in life, and, and we just kind of wonder, you know, what can change about that situation? What can change about my life? And it's all about your confession. It's all about what what it is that you believe. It's all about the way that you transform your mind of thinking. And so uh, that's where the, the basis of the song "Never Be the Same" came from. And I thank you so much for getting on and, and definitely for supporting the song and and spinning it. In allowing the listeners to be able to enjoy what it is that you enjoy as well so thank you so much for that oh no problem you had uh you you did you did a lot of work with donald lawrence and uh dr bobby mm -hmm. jones calls him sir donald lawrence but uh so what what talk to us about the history there and how you came about how did you get started in, in music period where, where are you from <laughs> wow then you went all the way back i was <laughs> born and raised in kansas city missouri oh uh, and there are tremendous singers that come out of out of Kansas City, Missouri. So uh, I, Donald actually heard me singing with John P. Key. Um, I used to sing with John years ago. I did the show up record with him. Oh. And uh, so once my my time was up with singing with John, um, I immediately went over to the Tri City Singers. And uh, I've been with Donald, I would probably say, 15, 16 years now since that, since joining Tri City Singers. And um, Donald heard a gift in me from the very beginning. And he told me, he said, if you stick with me, I'm going to do a solo record on you. And, and he, I definitely honored his word. And uh, that's where you have the first record introduced to Wank Woods and with Singer uh, Speed, which is the, the project that did have God Is and it has um, Let Go as well. And so uh, it's just been such a tremendous blessing being with Donald and just kind of sitting up under his tutelage. I've learned so much. And uh, you know you learned a lot when when you have a person such as Donald Lawrence who looks at you and says, you know what to do with your own project. Go ahead and produce it. I trust you to let me hear it when it's all done. So that, that says a lot about what he is as, as uh, important to not just me, but all the ones that are connected to him. 
Wow, that that is awesome. That's also almost unheard of. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Absolutely. Let you absolutely. let you do right. that. So I mean, so you did you grow up in church? Uh, what was what was it like? Did you sing in a choir? Obviously, you had to sing in a choir. I mean, you just don't just appear. So uh, tell us a little bit about your background and your church background. My church background, actually, I was born right after Sunday morning service, and my mother <laughs> sang the day that she had to. She wow. had to lead a song with the choir, so she she led the song with the choir, went home, warmed up the food for the family, went to the hospital, had me, and laid down that night to watch a, watch a movie, so I had no other choice but to do what it is that I'm doing, so uh, I've always grown up singing in the choir, I mean, I was I was standing by uh, the minister of music at the church that I was growing up growing up in, I was standing beside her at five years old, directing the choir with her, just learning this, this everything that I'm doing now. I've always done it since birth, pretty much, and so I, I definitely believe it is not just a, a gift; it's definitely a calling. I'm doing what it is God has purpose for me to do. Amen. And it's it's in you. Some people we can tell that you it's it's in you. It's in your spirit, and you are just at your best when you're uh, just being the instrument being the vessel so how Absolutely. what's it like I, I see in your you're rubbing shoulders with some of these secular folk like Cuba Gooding Sr. and and Morris Day and you're doing plays man uh, how, how'd that come about you know what I actually started traveling with a gospel space play back in the back in the early 90s called A Good Man It's Hard to Find and uh, I just kind of found my niche with doing plays so we could do uh, once once one play was over the, the network of of, uh, of of artists that were in shows it was so small that we would just go from show to show to show so I just had an opportunity to work with some tremendous people that's where my relationship with Dave Hollis uh, kind of was built from traveling with gospel stage plays and, and like you said Morris Day and Peebo Price and Cuba Goody Senior and so many great people that I've had an opportunity to just share not just share the stage with but just share pretty much a life with because we would all be on the road riding the same bus together just traveling together and getting to know each other so uh, I called on some of those relationships even on this new record that we're working on so I have a, a song that we'll be releasing pretty soon with uh, that features Dave Hollister and Anthony Hamilton and uh, called on Make Condition to work on this new project as well and so you know just really reaching out to the people that you I, I always believe that that People are in your life, and they're they're not just there for that particular season or that particular moment, but they're in your life to be able to to impact your life in different ways. And so, it's just really been a great experience for me. Amen. You mentioned Dave Hollister, former lead singer of the group Black Street, and uh, yes, I got sir. an opportunity to meet him. He's a, a PK. By the way, a lot of yes. people don't know that, and uh, he has done a lot in gospel as well. He's he's released a couple of gospel projects, and uh, Anthony Hamilton. I met him a few years ago at the Stellar Awards, and at that time he was sort of on the fence. He was saying, "Well, you know, this is my last uh, R&B uh, project. I'm getting ready to do gospel. I'm turning over. I'm going. I'm, I'm I'm singing for the Lord from now on." So I think he's still on that fence, so to speak, as far as wanting to um, come on over to this side and and and. And do this, but uh, keep him encouraged, man. I, I like to hear his voice. He's a tremendous singer as well. So you've got um, some great guys and some great company around you, my brother. You really do. Thank you, mm-hmm. thank you. I definitely mm-hmm. appreciate that. I, I, do, I believe that that our whole witness is to those people that may be on the fence. Our, our witness is to be able to just kind of keep them encouraged and keep them um, basically in the light of what it is that they really want to do, and that's that's gospel music. So yeah. I got Anthony in the studio, and he called on Jesus until times got better. <laughs> it, was, it was phenomenal. But you know what? I just spoke with uh, Michelle Williams of Destiny's Child uh, not too long ago, and she said something that blew my mind. Now, I always knew that she was a church girl at heart, even though she's a member of Destiny's Child. But she said mm-hmm. that her roots are, of, of all things, Kojic that she grew up in the Church of God in Christ. And so we sort of talked about that. And so she said, well, you know, I can do both. She said, I know who I am. I know what my calling is. I love what I do with Destiny's Child. But this, but her gospel is her baby. So, I mean, to to each his own, as we used to say in the military. So, yeah. So this this New City Project, what's the title? We have a working title called Life Lesson. Ah. Uh, And I just believe that every song that's on there 
uh, it's going to really be able to kind of show people what I've had to go through in the last few years and just the things that I've learned just being in, in, in school and, and that's the whole basis of Never Be The Same. That's the reason why we we wanted to make sure that we led this project off with that particular song because um, when you really go through life and you really understand that everything that you've experienced, it has a purpose, it has a place for you and it, it all is to be able to change you to make you the person that you were created to be. And so from every experience, from every lesson, that I've learned I would definitely never be the same so that's that's the reason for the song that's the reason for the record as well so give us a few life lessons that you've learned that you're sharing with us on this project oh uh, you know what I, I one of the main life lessons that I've learned is to the new song that we'll come out with for you so called friend of mine and just knowing that there, there are people that that will say that they'll be with you through thick and thin and, and then you look you go through some hard experiences go through some times and they get a chance to kind of need the real you and, and sometimes people can't handle it but but there's a God that knows that he knows everything about you he knows you're good you're bad you're up you're down and he said I will never leave you no for thank you so I, that's, that's where kind of the, friend, the song friend of mine came from uh, there's another song that Men Condition did called They Said and there's a lot of people that'll say a lot of different things about you but it's all about what God says about you what you believe that, that God has placed in your in your heart and in your mind to do what it is that he's called you to do everything about what you do should be what God said about you so those are a couple of things that I've learned in life Amen Amen listen I know we've got to let you go because you are extremely busy and so where can um, your followers and fans and people who love your music where can we find you? Where can we find out what's going on with Dwayne Woods? I am everywhere. I'm all over social media. I'm telling everybody I have the same handle for Twitter and for uh, Instagram, and it's D-Woody D D W O O D Y D. I'm making that's my own pages, so anytime you get a response from me, you're getting it directly from me. I also have a fan page on Facebook, uh, so look for Dwayne Woods. It'll have the Never Be The Same uh, logo on it as well. And I want people to just get on there, just connect with me. I love to keep people involved in what it is that I do. I'm a people person. I love talking with people. I love hearing your stories of how the songs have blessed you, all of that. So D. Woody D. and definitely the fan page, Dwayne Woods. Let's get on and let's connect together. Amen. The one and only Mr. Dwayne Woods. Look out for his CD project, Life's Lessons. Dwayne Woods, thank yes. you for joining us on Real Gospel, my friend. My pleasure. I appreciate you supporting, man. Thanks a lot. You know, you heard me playing with uh, Dwayne going, God is, God is, God is. You know what? I'm going to play that next because a lot of you may not have heard that song. So coming up next, as soon as we come back, is God Is by Dwayne Woods. Oh, yeah. I preached a sermon off this song. Oh, yes, I did. God is. And so, um, wow. You're just simply going to love this song. Y'all, put your dancing shoes on. Put your uh, get, get ready to clap your hands. Get ready to do all that because coming up next as soon as we come back is Dwayne Woods with God Is on Real Gospel. <laughs> 